What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Drigo. I'm a video producer based in South Florida. And today I'm gonna be answering questions from my comments. This question comes in from Jesus Vaz. He goes, hey buddy, thank you so much for the amazing insights. I, re I recently started my video production company and things are going really well. Could you please check out my site and tell me if it's okay? I designed my stuff with Wix. Once again, thank you. Uh, thank you for the question, bro. I'm pretty much gonna give you guys a breakdown of me looking at his site and hopefully this can give you guys some insights on what you should be looking for. So let's get right to it. So overall, pretty good site. Um, I think the biggest thing on here, Jesus, hope I'm saying your name right. Um, you know, with You Dream It, We Make It, it's open to so many different things. So personally, I'll probably change it to like you dream it we film it you dream it we shoot it something that tells them that you do video production right and then if you get more niche about it which i recommend um you know that you do niche down with the video production when you guys are starting out i say shoot everything as you start to get bigger try to figure out who that you want to work with because that's going to make the messaging a lot easier for who you're talking to so uh, you dream it, we make it. I think here you need a call to action. Um, I think you know you need to you need to guide your clients to what you want them to do, right? So when you get here to your website, you dream it, we make it. It's there's no call to action anywhere. So and what's a call to action? It's pretty much something that you're telling them what you want them to do. Uh, so if you go to my website, so Tasca you know, we have watch videos, get in touch, contact us. Those are all the actions that I want them to take through my website. And this is the same thing that you want your customers to do. Because right now on your website with no call to actions, I'm, as a consumer, going to decide for myself where I want to go and where I'm going to end up. And, you know, maybe I'll go to a page that I see something I don't like. So, you know, you want to make sure you're guiding them throughout this process. Um, so, adding no call to action top right corner call to action here watch your videos get in touch essentially all we want our clients to do is to call us when they see us right so that's what i want for me or also you know fill out a form about us um maybe i'll change the about us uh to more in the bottom part and i'll put here in a section of like we help you know I see you do music videos and stuff so like we help artists and up and coming brands capture content to highlight will make some unique, something along those lines, right? And always, you can go to my website as a reference, or you can go to, I think building, how is it, five billion uh, All of you guys watching this video, what you should do is go to this five minute marketing makeover, watch these three videos. That helped me a lot with just messaging for my own personal website. But I've been telling you guys, is that you need to learn more about marketing. Uh, only learning about video production is one of those things that you're gonna get left behind. You need to understand a little bit of SEO, you need to learn a little bit of marketing, you need to learn a little, little bit about distribution. This is what's gonna make you stand out. You know, you see a lot of these courses from like Paul Xavier and a couple other people and they're talking about doing these 20 to $30,000 projects. Those are all because they're in integrating uh, you know, distribution, like paid advertisement within the videos. And it's a lot easier sell to um, a business because now you're offering them, you know, a service along with the solution to their problems. So go watch this video, that'll help you a lot, uh, just with messaging. Um, so now probably put, I'll move the about us down, talk about who, who you're there to help. Portfolio, let's check that out. So it's like right now, clicking on portfolio, nothing happens here, right? So for me, I either think something's wrong with my computer or, you know, probably fix this. So you can kind of do some type of click through. You can go to view. You know, maybe you have this show reel on your front page. Um, and then also something for you guys to start thinking about is, so is this like a wedding video? Um, when you're making your show reels and stuff like that for, um, when you're making any type of reel, 
you wanna make a very specific reel to who your audience is, right? So I have a dentist reel that only has dentist stuff. I have another commercial reel that's only commercials I've done. And then when I used to do weddings, I had one that was just weddings. Because you don't wanna have a reel that has a little bit of everything because it might tell a client that you, you don't specialize in what they're looking to do, that you might just shoot everything. You know, it's one of those things, it, I'm telling you, it's not that it's not gonna work, but if somebody else has a reel that only has music videos as all that they do, they're more likely to get booked because they're telling the client that's all that they do, right, is music videos. Um, and then maybe I'll put some like, you know, text and copy underneath the uh the videos just so it so i know what they're about just a little bit of like you know this is a music video we shot blah blah blah, blah, blah. that's also going to help with your seo and things like that um yeah so i mean I'm probably just make it a little bit easier for the clients to know what they're looking for because like right now if i came in here and you know think of it as as your client if i came in here looking for music videos i'm just seeing a bunch of different things i might click on something that has nothing to do with music videos so you want to try to make it as easy as possible for them to kind of guide uh throughout your website so portfolio that's for right now contact page okay contact page i see this happen a lot and um you know think of it in the same way of like you know your your customer, I, I found your website, I wanna get a hold of you. Now I get here in your contact form and you know, there's a contact form, but I'm not finding any ways to contact you. I see that you have the email. Okay, so that brings me out to the email thing. Um, that's not bad. I personally, what I would do is I would have you can still have these links, but then I would also have the actual email. So if someone wanted to email me, they could find out whatever your email is, you know, has Sue's at black cop, black claw productions dot whatever, or also have the phone number on here. Right now you only have the phone number all the way on the bottom of the page on the little icon. I would have this throughout a couple of different pages, right? And you know, I'm telling you guys, go to my website, take a look at what I've done. Um, just have an idea of like the different layouts. Um, you know, schedule a call, get in touch. You know, I make it very easy for them to want to get a hold of me. Um, just because you never know where they're gonna land. So, I think if you go to your about us page, I've been updating my site as well, and I always try to update my site. Every time I see something new from a different website that I like. I'll do like a tab on my computer and I start saving things. So like schedule a call, let's get started. You gotta make it easy for them. So, um, me other than that, when you have a good website, you know, I'll just hone down on making it a little bit easier for your clients to kind of look through your work so they know what they're looking at. Add a couple call to actions and uh, I think you're good. So, if you guys found this helpful, you know, let me know what you want to learn next. If you want me to check out your website and give you some pointers, put your website down in the comments and I'll take a look and I, may, I might make a video like this. Until next time, peace.